Guys, Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was against this uh, Asian clan. I just say Asian clan because it... Uh I'm sort of guessing it was international. I couldn't really read any of their information. Um, but look, maybe like Korean or Chinese. Uh, who knows? Uh, they weren't very good. Nothing. No offense to them, but they just, they, it was a very poor mismatch, we'll just say. Um, really, we just rolled them over. They had a lot of foreign bases. Nothing too special. So we're going to try and keep this one quick. We'll just flip over. So you get uh, 85 to 59 for Invicta. So really good job by Invicta. Really just clearing things up. Uh, we'll flip over to show what they did. One star on Josh. Uh, one star on dude, and then twos on everything else, uh, except our Town Hall 8 at the bottom, mouthpiece, uh, got three starts. So, uh, you know, they gave it their best, good for them. Uh, nice to see that they still use all their attacks, when clearly at some point the war was definitely out of hand for them. So, good for them, good effort. Uh, as you can see, we cleared the... 10s with two stars and got one th10 triple by pint so that was nice and we cleared the board on the night so really good job invicta no it's been a focus again not the most amazing bases but um some decent replays in here one thing i will say too about wars like this um coming from a recap standpoint i think a huge percentage of the general public can probably relate to these type of wars more often i know my mini uh, account that is in my old clan um for example, uh, these are the bases we see every war, right? So uh, I think a lot of people can really relate to these attacks more than um, some of these arranged wars against these crazy anti-three stars. So uh, let's just jump in. We'll uh, check out Pint's uh, beautiful triple on this Town Hall 10. So uh, Pint brings a bit of a queen walk. His goal here is going to be to get this air defense, walk the queen all the way down to the 6 o'clock position, and send in the king and a couple other units to uh, take out this other, other air defense and the queen. Uh, once that's complete, he's got three llama hounds, 23 balloons in the bag for the last two air defense and the rest of the base. So looking pretty good at this point. His queen... Oh, sorry, my cat's jumping up in my face here. Um, this queen does almost go down. That crossbow locks on. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, just rages it just in time. He's trying to let it get that cannon down because that was really what was doing her damage. But rages up. That's fine. Uh, those healers are going to bring her right back up to almost full health once this cannon goes down down right now boom watch this queen go back up into the green any second so he drops the king and has a bit of a wall breaker failed to do those spring traps very strange spring traps um but hey they did the job uh so this king is just going to beat on this wall for a minute uh rages it up and just beats through the wall gets the air defense and gets the queen as you'll see in a sec so these these level 40 heroes although you know he almost had a bit of a crummy point to the attack uh they pull it through right because they're just beasts so king's gonna lock onto that defensive queen in one second there it is queen is down uh air defense is down he doesn't really care about they, they did their job you know their kill squad did uh, the hero swap did their job with that little walk so he's gonna send in the lava hounds two on that air defense basically three four balloons on each outer defense gets a haste down kind of not the greatest haste placement there i think he misses most of the balloons completely but ends up speeding those ones up for just a second uh but the rage goes down right over top that air defense gonna he's trying to push everything to that inferno but the, because that crossbow didn't go down it kind of made the the loons take a bit of a zigzag around the inferno um so it screws him up a little bit here but he's got so many pops coming in from the back of the base it doesn't matter so he's got these other haze down on the other side these loons are just doing work they're gonna take down this wizard tower and then also work their way to the core last tesla goes down really if you notice the inferno didn't make too much of a difference because it's a single target so he's got all these minions there it's just one at a time slowly taking out the minions but really really negated the uh the inferno so and the cleanup's almost done you know like there was only a few trash buildings left so awesome job pint nice three star uh great to see a th10 triple and invict i love it all right, so let's uh, let's show some of these Town Hall 9 attacks. I had a few we're going to blow through here. Uh, Greg had a really nice attack. Uh, again, not th again, like I said, these are foreign bases, nothing special. Um, not Obviously, we're not boasting that these are amazing attacks, but I really do think people can relate to these bases a lot more. Um, than, an, than a really good anti three star so i i definitely don't mind showing these right because right uh you know greg brings in a cb lalo here which i you wouldn't be able to do against a good anti three there's no way um but these very compact bases you're going to see why this works he's really just going to send in one goal yeah his level 30 heroes do help quite a bit so they're going to kind of just create a bit of a funnel he's going to get his king jumping right in there he really wants to get the air defense defensive queen that's it that's all he cares about 
Um, so his king's going to jump in here, lock onto this queen in one moment. There he goes, right after the queen, jump, jump. Uh, his queen is locked onto that lava hound that came out of the CC, so that's going to go down in a sec. He rages the king up, just kind of going to clear out this little bit of section of base. Um, as soon as he takes care of this lava hound, he's going to deploy his air. So uh, just really waiting on that. He knows the lava hound is going to burst. He does not want the pups going after his balloons. He wants them on this queen. Going to finish everything off. Rages up the queen. Pups are basically dead. Then he starts his air attack. Just good patience on that. He's going to drop a couple balloons on each of these defenses here. Three on the wizard tower, three on the arch tower, two on the cannon. Um, everything's going to converge now through this rage right on top of that air defense. And then he's going to drop his third lava hound on there. There it is. Sorry. Oh, third and fourth. Forgot he brought it was CB here. So brings a third and fourth lava hound on that other air defense. Same thing. Couple balloons on each defense. Uh, rage goes down. It's going to push everything across. These loons do get knocked over by the sweeper and get up, end up getting taken out by the Tesla farm there. Uh, I know Greg did not plan for that, but it doesn't matter. He's just got enough. Still has four loons in the bag. He's going to end up sending over on this backside. Still two lava hounds on the remaining air defense. Just needs to get through this Tesla farm. Uh, the crossbow pointed on the ground kind of helped out as well. Um, not a very good choice to point your crossbows to ground for this reason exactly. Crossbow is going to go down. Arch Tower is down. Wizard Tower is the last remaining defense. Looking good, Greg. Nice three-star, buddy. Very sexy. Couple more trash buildings to go, and that is your three. Beauty. All right, going one down here. Chocolate attack from our man Warble. Warble just is a, a really a beast attacker. Um, every, you know, we got into Invicta approximately at the same time. Uh, and I just I watch him all the time because you know I, I try and mimic his attacks. He seems to have huge success. Uh, here he brings a, a shattered Lalo, but with earthquake. He's going to open up this whole section. He's going to send in his heroes right behind. He really wants to get the CC defensive queen two air defense. He's laughing at that point. So you can see his golem start moving in. Got a great funnel for uh, just really took waited for all these buildings to go down. Rages things up. Queen locks onto that Lava Hound under the Rage, so it's going to go down like no time. Two Wizards are on it, too. It pops. They're going to take care of those pups. The King's in there. The Defensive Queen is down. King's now locked onto the Defensive King. Uh, so he's going to go down in a sec, and that King's going to keep working through that base. He's still at full health. Everything's looking great at this point. Second Air Defense goes down, so he sends in his Air Attack. First couple Lava Hounds on that 6 o'clock Air D. Same thing as the last attack I showed. Couple balloons for each defense. There's no spamming of balloons here, guys. I can't can't stress how enough how targeting your balloons is so key. You need these defenses to be going down simultaneously. Um, you cannot have ten balloons on one defense. It's just they're not going to kill things fast enough. So he does the same thing up here, right? Another lava hound goes in. It's, uh, it's already down, unfortunately, but he does have just enough balloons to make this work. This queen actually steps up and takes out both these Teslas and this air defense. And that was so clutch in this raid because if that air D didn't go down, this was not a three star. So luckily his queen survived and just just came through at the exact right moment. Only about four or five balloons left, but he's got pups cleaning up all over this base. My man, Warble, killing it. Absolutely killing it. Must be the chocolate. All right. So Dota's attack here. So Dota brings another Lalo. Or sorry, no. Dota brings a max attack with hogs. That's right. Um, really just exploits the fact that this just the boxiness of this base. You can get a clean jump right into this core. So he's going to bring it in shattered. Open up the wall. Create his funnel. Usual business, right? Queen goes down to start taking out some of these buildings. Wall breakers open things up. Golems go in. There's no buildings left for the king to go to, so he sends it in. Uh, as soon as these golems get a little further in, that CC is going to draw out. Queen's just doing work. She's under the rage. I did make a point. I always want to make this point. Make sure your rage is over top the queen, otherwise you lose way too much DPS. So queen locks onto that lava hound. Just going to take that down momentarily. She is standing under the rage, so huge DPS. King's in there doing work. He's on the town hall now. but um, So he just goes ahead and sprinkles a few hogs in on every defense. Uses a giant tank up here. Just really smart. And he does save. It's not really a max attack because usually you heal your kill squad with the max attack. He's, but he is very smart knowing if he sprinkles hogs on these all these compartments, there's only one spot they're going to go to. And that is the core. So he drops the heal in the core where all the hogs meet up. Every defense is down. Max attack with hogs just crushed this base. Nice job, Dota. 
couple more. That's your three. Beautiful. Very sexy. Uh, I had, I think, just one more I was going to show. Derpy Doo had a six-star war. So really nice to see. Again, a lot of these guys I'm showing are all Swarm call-ups. They are going through our, our recruitment training process in Swarm and really just coming up to Invicta and, and showing us that, that they know what they're doing and they're ready to rock here. So um, really nice job by Derp. Just gets the CC lured, drops the poison, very patient, just waiting for those balloons to go down. Then he's going to yank it over down to this, uh, down to this 6 o'clock position, uh, send in his golems. There it is, golem one. Starts creating his funnel on that at that nine o'clock section. Drops golem two. That drag's gonna lock onto that golem. Drops a couple more whiz and then drops his queen. Just just great patience on that. Dragon's dead with barely doing any damage. Funnel is basically created. He does have to take care of that elixir storage. Um, but he's gonna drop his king a little high here and then it's just gonna go right in towards that queen. There it is. King goes in. Breadcrumbs that cannon, beautiful, goes right up to that Tesla and he's going to lock onto that queen. There he goes, triggers a bomb with his king there. Um, I do always say, uh, sorry, real quick, he drops a giant at this top section, drops a few hogs on uh, on every building. Um, just fantastic. Uh, this guy has a Tesla and a bomb in each of these compartments. It's really difficult though. I always compare it to something like... Um, playing poker versus someone who doesn't know what they're doing because if someone's just copying and pasting a forum base you don't really know what their knowledge overall is of base building so you cannot expect traps to be in the logical positions i guess is what i'm trying to say because um if guys are just throwing things that someone else tells them to put them there they have no idea what if it actually works or not so it's really difficult even though it's kind of obvious where the traps are, it's still very difficult to know if they're actually there until you do a, until you do a cleanup attack. So really just a handful of hogs left for those. One remaining crossbow. Derp just murdered this base. Nice job, man. Again, not, nothing special on these bases, but I literally saw this exact base in my last war with my mini clan. So, you know, I think people can relate to this stuff a lot more. So Derp. Great job, six star war. In fact, let's just kind of hop over and see how these uh, swarm guys are continuing to do for us. Um, my team, oh, look at that. I had to defend, sexy. Um, <clears throat> let's move down. We got Adam, who is, uh, who's been with us for quite a while up in Invicta, but he did come to us through swarm, three stars. Uh, Greg's Kingdom, three stars. Uh, who else we got here? Burt's uh, from a little. Uh, again, Burt's been with us for a while. Six Star War. King Brett, Six Star War. Peter, Six Star War. Kajik, 99%. Um, let's keep moving down. Derpidu, Six Star War. Namnug, three stars and a 97%. Chief Lalo, Six Star War. So they must be doing something right down in Swarm because uh, these guys are just beasts. They're coming up, ready to go. Uh, and in fact, we are going to be matching today versus North Remembers. Uh, so that is very exciting. I know for these a lot of these Swarm guys, and uh, hey, a lot of Invicta guys, you know, we're still getting very used to these arranged matchups, and this should be a doozy. Uh, we got a got a huge uh, base building uh, session tonight we're excited to do, and then a full day of planning and attacking tomorrow. So ton of content coming up, guys. We're really excited for this weekend here in Invicta. So I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to that. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to call that an afternoon. Uh yeah, uh, not too interesting of a war. So hopefully, you know, you guys can uh, learn uh, learn some little maybe tips and tricks about how to take down these foreign bases. Because uh, uh, I know for at least me and my old clan, uh, we see these we see these bases every single war. So hopefully, you guys can relate to that a little better. Uh, so that should do it for your wisdom from Wiser and just trying to help you guys bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.